Hello team, I'm Taliban, and welcome to One Ping Only. So, this is another small game I picked up on um, uh, Steam on the free store, and it looks to be kind of like a sub. Oh boy, click and drag to look. There's something about shift. Shift, I think, go forward. Oh, you can pitch dive up and left, and then we can go forward with that. Helm, get us close. I'm missing it. Helm, get us close so we can scan it. So there's something up ahead. We got to go scan it. Um, it. It was a very short game, apparently. Um, there's not a whole lot, I guess, going on with it. But it's all about this pinging idea to see the environment around me. And apparently there's some story to it as well. Kind of, we get into, like, this cave. I'm seeing very uh, straight walls. It's weird that I'm in a sub, because that's typically... Oh, the sort of signal we picked up on. Great. Looks like an emergency beacon. I'm surprised it's still working. All right, let's explore further. You got a boss on it. Move out. But yeah, so this apparently was made for some kind of game jam. Oh, those are houses. Oh, if you look, those are houses all around us. So we are underwater... Oh, this is weird. Am I, like, in an airship? What is going on? Oh, it's weird. I don't have, like, a way to stop. Sonar ops. These are medical supplies in the crates. I wonder what attacked this city. Well, we are going to find out one way or another. Helm ahead slow. Oh, this is really weird. I'm, like, underwater. There's buildings all around me, as we can tell from kind of the sonar stuff. Underneath me, there's a weird graphical error. But yeah, it was apparently made for like a game jam made in like two or three days, I think, maybe closer to a month. But it's, it's a really cool premise, and like they built a whole environment. There's a bit of a story heading south. Two of six areas scanned. All right, we're just going to navigate our way through. Whoa, there was two ways to go there. There's definitely two ways to go. Hold on. Hold on. Am I going to... Apparently touching, yeah, touching, touching walls. I thought I had to be careful. It does nothing. Okay, that's cool. That's cool, though. So there's apparently something over here, though. I saw, like, a way forward. All right, what's down here, then? Oh, look at all these cars. What is going on in this game? Whoa. Whoa. What is, like, the dealio? I love this visual, though. I, I Hopefully it's not too pulsy, um, and it's not too, like, glaring and but oh I really like it this is super interesting see this is this is what I want out of like a story I want to find a story game this is a little story so oh oh okay sonar ops a lot of empty cars looks like some people had to flee on foot but why were they fleeing at all asks our captain can I just find everything by continuing forward do I have to backtrack at all I think I'm scanned three of six areas. I hope I'm not missing anything. Maybe it's all circular. Hopefully it's kind of semi-circular. What is this? Those have missiles. Okay, I'm gonna scan. Hmm, this doesn't bode well, says our captain. Those look like surfaced air missiles the Obsidian Navy used to. Who's the Obsidian Navy? Yes, I used them back on the islands of Europa. Islands of Europa. So that's kind of our next question, is like, is this still Earth? Because these physics don't make sense. Why are we, like, flying underwater with a city surrounding us? Oh, look at all this stuff. Now there's, again, two branching paths. Last time we took right. I like to change it up a little bit. Let's go left. Left! So what's going on? Oh. There are weak parts in the rubble ahead that we can blast with torpedoes. I'm highlighting them on your display. Press F to fire with torpedoes. Wait, where are they? I don't see any weak spots. Wait, can I, like... Okay, I'm just gonna... I didn't hit anything. Oh. Oh, that. Is that it? That was it. Okay, cool. So, in the game, they just called it rubble. They definitely did. And so... Is that the way to go? 
I'm super into this. Is that the way to go? Oh, that's a city. I feel terrible. Because I, I don't know what is... Okay, I'm going to go this way. Because it looks like it just barely fit. Okay, so that's that's a hole right there. I wonder if you take different paths if you get different parts in the story. That's an interesting idea. Wait, there's so, something was just kind of there to the left, but this is wide open. Okay, I'm just going to keep cruising through it. Okay, again, we, we went right before left. It seemed to connect up. This is super interesting. I, I'm very into it. Okay, so now we're here. Now we're underwater. Now we're heading back the way we came. Okay, and I think before we came from the left, so now we'll we'll head down this way. Okay, so the game did the loop back on me. I, I went in a giant loop, so this is kind of a bit of a maze. Let's see what we can find. We're gonna scoot through here. I'm kind of looking for some blue. A faint hue of... You see, we've seen these cars before. We've seen kind of this before. I, I hope I'm not going all the way back to the beginning. Because before we took right, this is... This is way back. Let me head this way real quick. Alright. What are we finding over here? Shoot. Now I'm all turned around. See, that, even that's an interesting mechanic, right? Because the game has no clear identifying color markers. It's all based on shape. It's all based on shape. And there's... All this weird stuff going on. Okay, so we've seen this before. We, we've again circled around. We're heading back down. But it's interesting. The, the tunnel might be intentionally made to look the same both going and coming. See, we've been by here before. We've been by here to get in. I see, so it's non-circular, but this tunnel here, yep. See, it, I think they've actually mirrored it. I, there might be a cut right here to make it look the same both going both ways. Huh. Super interesting. So we're underwater. Big stuff above us. So I'm wondering if there was some kind of doomsday weapon used. That upheaval happened. And dropped a bunch of rubble on top of this city. Kind of like a Pompeii incident. Um, I think that's the city that, that was like covered in ash like instantly. And people have been discovered thousands of years later. Okay, so we come in here. When we get to an intersection, I'm taking left. I should have just kept going right. Those kinds of things, and then kept going right. If you go right in a maze, um, if you've ever read it up on it, if you go right in a maze, eventually you will reach the exit, as long as there is one. Because um, you can never... If you just keep a hand on the right wall of a maze, you will always find your way out. Now, don't use that advice underground in, like, a cave or something. That doesn't work quite the same. Uh, 2D plane. 2D. Okay, so we've been by here before, but we've been by here the same direction. So this means we're kind of going in the... Oh, oh boy. See, but no damage happened, so I'm okay. And I'm not heading back out, because this is not the same entrance. So this we already decided does link back on this side. Here we took right, I think, before. I think we're going to take left this time. Okay, and here is where we ran into a bit of a problem getting turned around. We kind of took that right way back home. I wonder what's through here real quick. This looks like possibly a reused asset. But nope, nope, this is new. This is definitely new. This is good. Oh, this building can be broken. Okay. If we're underwater, nobody's really... Uh, would be alive at this point. What is this? Okay, those look almost like rib cages. Those definitely kind of look like ah, just a bit like rib cages. I don't know what's going on. No idea. I didn't read any spoilers or anything, so we're just kind of exploring at this point. Whoa. 
Do you see those signs? That's a nuclear symbol. Those symbols are for nuclear. That That's kind of like a, a door blast. Blast door right there. Ooh, do we have a fallout kind of a situation? Everybody's sealed in a bunker underground because World War Three was going on. Okay, so we're going to scan that. Sonar, that's the Olympus. Yeah. A Newark captain. Oh, that's a sub. Press on. We would sully the honor of Olympus otherwise. So there was another ship down here, and our captain recognizes it. Okay. Press on, captain said, so that is what she shall do. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my piloting skills are getting so much more nimble. Now I'm going to run into a wall. Bonk. Just like that. So now this is... I think we navigated around. We might actually be in the bunker now. Because I think the blast doors were on the rear side of it. Okay. Oh, and then there's another tunnel dug in here. So we started in a tunnel. We kind of like went around one. We went through a city... We just saw some more blast doors, and now we're kind of going around it again. I really hope we don't end up in... Okay, so we're going to angle right. We're just going to take one slow pan all the way around. Oh, this is just darkness here. I... Oh. Oh, this is giving me chills. Um... Oh, it's sealed behind us. Oh, boy. Oh, that is a really cool effect. Okay, so that almost... Sonar just went offline. Reset the system. Already on it, sir. Sonar is back online. We're getting some strange readings. Sonar, I think we tripped up. Bringing on the active sonar. Give me one ping. One ping. What? What? What were we looking at? What were we looking at? No. Oh my god. What? No. Oh, oh, that gave me chills. Holy cow. What is that? I'm going to have to go like read up on this. Okay. Scott LaFetra, Caitlin Farmer, Daniel McGurnan, Derek H., Kit Ansley, Bradley, Jarden. All right, great job, great job. That is an excellent game. Holy cow, holy cats, bananas, right, guys? Um, so that was that was one ping only. So that that was a very interesting game, and apparently it was made very quickly. But I really like the story. I have no idea what's at the end there. I did not get a good look at it. I did not get a good look at that. Um, very very neat mechanics. I like that continuous ping like that. I almost would have preferred if I had like a little bit more power over how quickly I pinged and things like that. And this is like a really good start for like if you even wanted to try and expand this idea. I think there could be a lot of really cool nuances with it, especially if you made it into like a broader story. Because uh, it sounds like you've got a great idea for like the baseline story that's in there. That'd be really fun to like explore some of the buildings and things like that using maybe some of the same mechanics. Or you have to be without light because you're running around. I don't know. There, there's a lot of really cool stuff in there. Um, that ending really got me. Like that was so cool getting in there and like nothing. And then something appeared. I don't know if I was supposed to see something or not. I'm so sad and I don't want to quite run through all of it again. Um, just to see what's at the end. I think I am going to leave it there. But that was a really cool story. It did give me chills. That was a really, really neat moment to get into the wide open expanse and then just see nothing. Um, so yeah, that, that was a great job. That was a fun little game to play through. I will leave the link down in the description below. So if you guys want to go play it for yourself, it is there. Uh, very low impact on a system. This does not take very much to run. So thank you all so much for watching this episode. Um, I know it's not episodic, but it's just like another episode of mine that I'm coming out with. Uh, if you did like it, let me know. Uh, if you didn't, also let me know. I'd love to hear about it. So if you want to see more, leave a comment. And if you have more games that you might like me to play, please leave a comment with those down below. That would really help me in finding content for you guys to watch. And plus, that's stuff that you guys want to see. So with that all said, thank you all so much for watching this episode. And we will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.